next generation. All right, here I'm going to show you how to um, calibrate your uh, smartphone or tablet. This is a, a Nexus 7, uh, so that it can be used to measure the sunlight strength in watts per square meter or BTUs per square foot. Um, the way I'm going to do it today, I've got a little bit of sticky tape. I have an LED spotlight. You can only do this with LED or fluorescent lights. And instead of using um, a neutral density filter, I'm actually going to use one of these static shield bags that I get my components in. Alright, so first of all, just plug in the light. I'm not going to power that on just yet. Okay, we're going to launch the Okapi uh, Solar Calculator app. And we're going to go down to the light activity. So here we are, we've got quite a bit of information on the screen. It's actually connected to our solar air heaters here at my home. So at the same time as measuring uh, light intensity, it's also calculating an efficiency value based on the, um, the actual surface area of the collectors. Okay, so what we want to do is calibrate the light meter. Now it tells me right here, I'll reset the attenuation, tells me right here at the bottom that the maximum range of the light meter on this device is only 352 watts per square meter. The sunlight, of course, can get um, over a kilowatt per square meter, even over 1.1 kilowatts. So what we have to do is attenuate or reduce the signal that goes into the light meter and then use the app to recalculate and estimate what the, the light intensity or the insulation actually is. So we just follow the rules on the screen here. So it's saying to attenuate the light sensor, illuminate the device and tap here. Okay, it's not just a case of illuminating the device. We're going to put the lamp on. There we go. Now we see the solar irradiance there, or the insulation. That's currently 70 watts per square meter. So that's way under the maximum range. So what we're going to do is just move the lamp closer and closer until we can get it as close to this 352 value as, as possible without exceeding it. Okay, it says 335 there, but we'll just push reset a few times and we'll see actually it isn't 335. It just really shows the maximum value. So yeah, it's a good idea just to keep tapping this when you're moving it around. 352. So we're almost exceeding the maximum there. Let's tap that, 350, okay, 350, that's, that's good enough, it's, it's really close. Okay, so now we've, we've lit that up, we've got a good solid reading, and it says to attenuate light sensor illuminate, we've done that, illuminate the device and tap here. Okay, now we need to follow this instruction, which is secure a neutral density filter, uh, these are relatively cheap for photographic filters that you can get just to a plastic cutout. Um, take a look on eBay or go down to your local uh, ph photography store and they should be able to supply you with one. But also you can use many things that are lying around the house. Um, all we're really doing is trying to attenuate the natural light and you know you can you can use plastic bags. Try try whatever you have lying around the home before you um, run out and make a purchase. Like I said I've, I've found these uh, static shield bags exceptional. At, um, actually filtering out and uh, attenuating the incoming light. So what I'm going to do is make a little band-aid of this sticky tack tape and uh, you know obviously don't use anything that could cause damage to your smartphone or tablet. Um, this goes on and off with, with ease. I also have one of those protective screens covering the device but I've been using this for a number of months now and there's been no issue. So let me just make up the, uh, the band-aid and we'll come right back. Okay, so there's our homemade neutral density filter. It's pretty simple, cheap to make. Okay, and we're just going to very carefully position that over the light sensor at the top of this Nexus 7. Don't go anywhere near the screen, otherwise you'll get notifications popping up. Okay, so we've done that. And really important, don't move anything, don't move the tablet, the smartphone, don't move the light source, otherwise the light reading will change. So now we've secured the neutral density filter, 
So now all we have to do now is tap here. And there we go, it's now coming up with an estimate of, from this lamp of 527 watts per square meter. So if we look down here now, we have an attenuation factor of 4.8. What this really means to you is the, um, the, the error, so the level of error in there. So if the reading is 527, it's actually going to be, you know, somewhere between 527 and about 532. So just bear in mind, the larger the attenuation factor, the larger the margin for error. But, I mean, really, this is just a very cheap way of converting a smartphone or a tablet into a very expensive light meter, and this does very good estimates. So, there we go. Um, if you need to start again, you can reset that attenuation. You can see that the maximum range is 1,700 watts per square meter. Um, again, ideally, you only need about 1,200 or even a little bit less. And that's pretty much it. You can go outside and measure the strength of the sun right now and, and get reasonable, very reasonable estimates. Next generation. Next generation.